In this video we're going to be looking at how you simplify a fraction. It's also referred to how you cancel a fraction down. So we're going to start with 8 tenths. Now, the way to simplify a fraction and what our end goal is, is to be able to divide both top and bottom of the fraction by a number, by a whole number, okay, with zero remainder, okay? So there is not going to be any remainder, we're not going to go into decimals, so we remain with a whole number on the top and a whole number on the bottom. Now you can divide both the top and the bottom of the fraction by any number you like, okay? As long as it's a whole number. So 8 over 10, because both the top and the bottom of the fraction are even, you can halve both top and bottom. Divide top and bottom by 2. So if I divide the top by 2 and divide the bottom by 2, I'm going to get 4 over 5. Okay, so 4 fifths is an equivalent fraction to 8 tenths. And this is as far as I can simplify, because there is no number that I can divide into both 4 and 5 that will give me um, remainder 0, so no remainder. Other than 1, I could divide top and bottom by 1, but it's not going to change anything. Okay, So that is as far as you could go with this fraction. On the other hand, if you look at 24 over 60, you should notice first that both the top and the bottom are even again, so we can divide top and bottom by 2, as we did last time. So we're going to get 12 over 30, and then, well, both of these numbers are even as well, so I could divide both top and bottom by 2 again. Okay, so 12 divided by 2 is 6, 30 divided by 2 is 15. So I get 6 over 15. And this is really where your times tables are going to come into play. Because now, 2 doesn't go into 6, or 15, 6 and 15, because 15 is odd. Another number that goes into both, however, is 3. So you can divide top and bottom of the fraction by 3 because they're both in the 3 times table. So we get 2 over 5. And that is as far as I can go. So I have simplified the fraction down from 24 over 60 down to 2 fifths. And once you have gone as far as you can go, this is as simplified as we can make the fraction. Now, you might be asking, well, okay, if I'd started at 24 over 60, you could have gone straight to dividing through by 4, or dividing both top and bottom by 3. Or you could have divided top and bottom by 12, because you could start with 24 over 60, and divide top and bottom by 12, and get 2 over 5. So you go straight from 24 over 60 to 2 over 5 with that method. It really depends on how strong your times tables are, and how confident you are using them. If you're not particularly happy with your times tables, but you're happy with dividing by 2, then this method is particularly good, because you just break the fraction down each time. It takes longer, but it will make sure that you, well, you're more likely to get it right than if you start looking for a number to divide by that's larger than 10, for example. Okay? So, slow and steady if you're not so confident.